guys welcome back to my channel my name is Wendy if you're new here and in today's video we're gonna be talking about why I decided to get my RN license through an associate degree nursing program now this is my story these are my reasons and just because I decided to take this route it doesn't mean that you have to take that route as well it's just what worked best for me at that time so if you're interested in knowing more then keep on watching and if you guys haven't seen my get ready with me 12 year nursing journey I'll actually link it up here so that you guys can check it out but I do currently have my BSN and as you might know if you watch my videos I'm currently pursuing my FNP degree as well so I'm doing that master's program but I did obtain my RN license through an ADN program. An ADN program means an associate degree nursing program. And the reasons why I decided to go that route is because one, the nursing program, we are very blessed to have very close to home. So I don't, I didn't have to go anywhere really. It's not like the nursing program was not available to me in my town or in another town that was nearby. I didn't have to go to another state. I didn't have to go like super far. It worked out perfectly. Now, reason number two is that I already knew since the beginning that that's where I was gonna go because I am super, super, super duper close to my parents and I wanted to make sure that I was able to stay at home. And staying close to my family was something that was a very important to me, which is why I decided to choose an associate's degree nursing program instead. Now, we also have a state university that's nearby, but that was kind of like out of the picture because um, obviously it's more expensive, which is the third reason why I chose to go through a community college instead of a state university or a UC. And by the way, UC means University of California. You know, I decided to not take those routes because obviously those are more expensive. To me, you know, I'm not like privileged. You know, I don't, not made out of money. My family doesn't have money. So to me, it was important that I also took my parents into consideration while I was trying to obtain my degree because you know they were gonna be the ones to help me I didn't get any FAFSA I didn't get any loans like scholarships nothing they helped me get through school through my nursing program as well as me working part-time that's what helped me get through the program and I don't even have any loans right now and I'm in grad school so it's awesome it worked out great that was the third reason why I chose to just go through a community college because it's so much cheaper. And reason number four is actually something that was a very, very, very important to me and very detrimental as to why it is that I decided to s just do an ADN program instead of doing a bachelor's program. And that was the fact that I would have the opportunity to be sponsored by the hospital where I was working at so that they can help me get into the nursing program. So ever since high school, I actually knew that this program was available to um, hospital employees and they had the opportunity to submit their application to the hospital as well as submit any um, transcripts, and then of course you had to do your T's test and all that was something that was an option for hospital employees. So ever since high school, I knew that this program was available. So of course, as soon as I graduated high school, I decided to apply for a certified nursing assistant job in this hospital. And that's how I was able to get into my nursing program. And the only place that they actually had a contract with was a community college that offered an associate degree nursing program. Pretty much, I kind of already had all this planned out in my head that this was, this was going to be how it went. But, I mean, it didn't all go like perfectly because there was so much stuff in between that happened. But the point is that the hospital got me in to the nursing program and what happens is that you as a student once they tell you that you are 
accepted into the nursing program and that you are sponsored through the hospital, um, you actually pay whatever it is that you have to pay to the school, like your tuition, your books, anything that you might need, your uniform, you pay that off. And then of course you take the receipts from the school and then you take your receipts to the human resources department of the hospital and they reimburse your money back. So if this is a program that you have available for you at your hospital, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to take advantage of it. Unfortunately, we were actually the last class that was able to do this because after we graduated, they stopped offering this program. Um, so at that time, it was called the Paradigm Program and it was just like, maybe 20 of us who were from different local hospitals who were sponsored into the nursing program. And of course, once you graduate from the nursing program, most likely you will have a job already lined up when you graduate from nursing school. So it was like a win-win for both the hospital and for me um, as a nurse because I knew I would have a job at the end of it all. And you don't have to pay back money to the hospital what i had to do was just pay back like in time if that makes any sense all i had to do was work for them like three years i had to work for them and then like the debt was i guess paid off and these are the reasons why i decided to get my rn license through an adn program because it was just convenient it was easy it was cheap and it was just like the perfect timing to get into school by the help of my employer so it just worked out great so with all that being said if there is programs that are out there for you through the hospital that you are working at i highly encourage you to apply to these programs i know you might be thinking that oh my god what if i don't like it what if i hate it and i have to stay there you always have the option to pay off whatever it is that they gave to you, whatever money it is that they gave to you, you always have the option that if you want to leave the hospital, you could pay them back. But why would you do that? You know, when you could just get experience as you're working there. But with all that being said, I want to highly encourage you to check out these videos right here as well. And I will be making a video where I talk about why I decided to go back to school to get my bachelor's. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you next week. Make sure to subscribe right here and like this video and share it with anybody who you think might find it valuable. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.